What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of one of the last wars for Invicta. This was our arranged matchup versus WHF2. Yes, the uh, the training clan for uh, WHF. Uh, these guys are awesome. They beat Invicta by percentage, I believe. Let's just hop on over, check it out. Big, big, big win for Invicta. 83-76, just really, really good showing overall. Um, actually, I do want to check this real quick. We're going to take a peek see at the war log. I know it was quite a while back. Yeah, we lost by percentage back uh, 118 days ago, so almost four months ago. So that kind of goes to show the uh, progression. Um, overall, like I said, just fantastic job uh, by the guys and gals here in Invicta. Really happy with them. Uh, WHF2 had some struggles, you know, missed quite a few of the nines left. I think four, I think, on the board there, but so did Invicta. You know, the nine, nine game has been tough uh, for a lot of clans lately, just getting things cleared up with just your nines. Uh, we had to use quite a few bullies, and I believe, yeah, we believe we still left one on the board, unfortunately, but was uh, not enough for uh, WHF2 to be able to come back because we had some really good successes up top. Our 11s were just beasts. You know, Pino got a three-star there. Chris Rocks is just awesome. Uh, just moving up through the chains, just came up from Swarm. Can't, don't believe that guy's going to be sticking around in uh, Invicta for very long because he is a monster. You know, um, Pino might have had a six-pack. Yeah, Pino had a six-pack against these 10s. I believe that was a 10. I could be wrong if I'm wrong. Sorry. No big deal. I do got a bazillion replays here I want to show you. So we're just going to jump right down here and start this up and check out some replays. Take a little sip of my coffee. Mm -mm -mm. Euler moving in here. Been really impressed with Euler. Has these, uh, you know, level 20 heroes, but is just a monster. Uh, so he's going to go ahead. Nice first minion down, triggers the bomb, then a few more down. Just going to get a nice big funnel created. Drops that golem. I believe he gets a poison going down here right away. Take care of the CC troops and both heroes in one shot. Got to get that queen down. There's that king. He's going to start chasing that other king, but no big deal. Queen's in there now, starting to do work on those CC troops. Poison's doing its thing, that double poison. So it goes ahead and sends in the Valks now that kind of all the threats are taken care of. Has two jumps and two heals. Just going to lead the Valks right into the back of this base. Here goes that first jump. Going to let the core wide open. Heal spell goes down. Just going to take care of them because they are out front now. Does have a few of the Valks and his king go for a hike here. So um, do like showing these raids because I guarantee you, if you pause it right here, what is going through Euler's head at this point in time? Oh shit is what's going through his head. Half of my Valks and my King, even more than half my Valks and my King, walk to the outside. The jump, you know, of what, there's just not enough DPS that even Valks under this heel are going to be able to stay alive once they get out front here. He's thinking he's in big trouble, but watch the patience here on his hogs. You know, he has 17 hogs, which is a fair amount of hogs still. That jump and heel is going to drop. So there goes that second heel cell, but you're going to see what I mean. Boom, bomb goes off. These four or five Valks under the heel just aren't quite enough. They they do survive and kind of make their way through here. Uh, but you see how everything just kind of met up at this air defense? His Valks and King are now met back up. They just got to bust through this wall. So it goes ahead and sends in these Hogs from the uh, sort of 2 o'clock section. Starts ripping through some of these defenses. Just allow the Valks to continue their way. Still has all these Valks moving in. Kind of interesting. Must have been a, a different... Uh, it definitely adjusted where he dropped this jump spell. Just let everything back in and out of the base. <laughs> Valks get stuck on a wall again, unfortunately, but it doesn't matter. A few hogs in, kind of starting to sprinkle in surgically here, just reinforcing the uh, the Valks as they move their way around the base. Might have been a little preemptive on these ones. I would have waited just another second until these tanking units got within range of that Tesla, and I probably would have then dropped my six hogs or whatever I had left over there. But it doesn't matter how to critique that. He's got the Valks now in that core, Finishing stuff off. Would have been scared of a DGB right there, but there isn't such a thing. Things are looking good. No defenses really remaining that are going to be a threat here. Just got to take down that arch tower and its tree in the bag. Oh, and don't forget these builder's huts. Time must have been an issue to get to this, <laughs> this builder's hut with no cleanup troops. But nails it. Nice job, Oiler. When things do not go your way, but they end up going your way. So good old Saddy boy. A lot of guys had six packs in this war too. Actually really came through for us. Uh, I believe Satyr was one of that. He's one of our bottom beasts. Look at this. 18 king, 20 queen going in here. Against, you know, a 23 queen and a 21 king. So fairly even, right? Poison spell down. Just slowing that queen right down. Letting that golem do serious tanking. When he gets that funnel going. As soon as these storages go down, he's going to drop a Valk. 
and everything's going to go right to the wall. Wall breakers come out, open it up. Boom! Queen goes down in one shot from all those Valkyries. Jump spell down. Going to let everything kind of in and out of this core. Valk's moving in. Heal spell is down. Poison spell is going to go down right away. Helps uh, slow down those CC troops because there isn't anything that can target that baby dragon there yet. Just got to get that queen over there. And she's going to finish things off. Just got to lock onto that baby drag. I believe the wizards end up jumping in and finishing it off. Yeah, there's a wizard. Get it! Yeah, down it goes. So uh, Val's kind of wandered to that Tesla compartment too, which was really nice. So it just sends in a few hogs in this top section. Does trigger a bomb, but it doesn't matter. I think he only spent like six hogs for that one compartment. Got two defense, three defenses and a bomb. Another bomb gets triggered by the Valks over by that town hall, but no big deal. Sends in the rest of his hogs from 6 o'clock in this little whiz tower chamber. Quite often you'll find Teslas, but he knows there's not Teslas there because he just ran into those. <coughs> Triggers a bunch of these little small bombs. It's just not enough. Got to take care of the... Um, Wizard Tower, the Mortar, sliver of health left on his hogs, and it's GG for this base. Beauty. Tree Stars in the bag for Saddy Boy. Nice job. Okay. What else I got here? Tritosh. Bleed brings a standard double jump Govaho here on this uh, sort of interesting base. Guy must have purposely shifted the whole base to this edge of the wall. I guess the idea behind that is because these air defense are in range of the wall there. So if you try and walk around this corner or walk anywhere around the 6 o'clock area, you can't place your healers without them being attacked by the air defense. So that's sort of the idea of having the base pushed right against the wall. Now, I don't like that personally just because it's so easy to get to these defenses on the outside. I mean, two balloons, one balloon, right? You're going to trade those up very evenly. Um it's just, I don't know, I'm not a fan of it. Um, you are forcing someone to come in uh, with the queen walk if he uh, comes from the top. But Tritosh says, you know what, screw healers. I'm just going to send in a bunch of Valkyries, do a straight up um, double jump Gobaho here. So first jumps down, poison's going down. I'm going to take care of all the gobbies coming out of that CC. There's a baby drag up there too. Just got to get that queen in there when she's done working on that elixir storage. She's going to jump in, finish off that baby drag. Down it goes. King's in there doing work. He's going to hit that ability here in one moment. There it goes. Smashing through these Tesla farms. Just getting great value. Very, very compact base right here. So he's getting insanely good value right from his troops up there. Uh, Valks are in there now. Start sending in these hogs from the three, uh, basically the three to the six section. Starting to take care of these defenses bit by bit. Valks trigger a bomb just before the hogs get there. Just perfect. Few defenses remain. Still has hogs all over the base. Valkyrie's doing their thing. Definitely a tree in the bag. Just a, <laughs> triggers the, the heart attack bomb at the end, but has a sliver of health left on his hogs. Not enough to stop this beastly tree star. Nice job, Tritosh. Another little troll hut in the corner. Okey doke. Oh, yes. I love this next attack. This is a little baby drag attack. So almost like a Gova lobbed. No, he doesn't use loon, so he can't be a low. <laughs> the idea here, anyways, is you're bringing. He brings all Valks, I believe. I think there's Valks in the CC, so he's got like 16 Valkyries. He just wants to create a funnel, um, kind of on this bottom section, using these two army camps. He knows if he drops, if he funnels the army camps and then drops a bunch of Valkyries on these three buildings on the outside. There's only one place for them to go. Is that's through the wall. So here he goes, they're going to go up and right onto this uh, little bit of, oh, he does drop. <laughs> the wall breakers come up with the Valks and it's not enough, but it doesn't matter. He's got 16 Valks. They shred that Lego wall like nothing. Jump spell goes down, poison's down, take care of that stuff. Queen's going to get right in there, help finish off that baby drag in the CC. Valkyrie's doing their thing. The idea here is he needs to get as many of these air defenses as possible. See them kind of wander over. They got air defense number two down now. Everything's going to go back up to the CC. Once the CC goes down, they're going to lock on air defense number three and then take care of that queen. So he starts deploying the baby drags on the outside of the base. They're going to get big, big tanking value here now, right? Just all of them are all raged up, doing big, big damage. Only one air defense to go down here. So really just wants everything to start uh, funneling counterclockwise down over to that section. This 9 o'clock area is a bit of a concern, right? Tesla trap with the air defense. If the baby drags get over there, it's not going to be enough to kill that. So he's got to get the heroes in there, and he does. Valk start moving in, taking care of that sweeper. 
It's going to get that queen in there. Still has the ability to hit, and I think she hits it just in time. Going to take out a few of those Teslas, take out the Arch Tower, and basically Baby Drag save this raid because his queen is about to go down after she takes down this Tesla. Down there goes the Tesla, and then she does not survive. So the two Baby Drags he has left and this one Archer just hero through the remaining you know, 10% of this base. <clears throat> He's got to take down the Arch Tower there and the Wiz Tower, and then they can lock onto the Town Hall, and it's GG. In fact, they even loses one more uh, drag here to a bomb. Yep, but it's not enough. Down goes the Town Hall, and that's tree in the bag for Ryan. Nice job, buddy. Very creative attack. I like it. Like it, I like it. 16 Valkyries. Nice. Double jump, double heal with 10 baby drags. Very sexy. Alrighty. Move up here. We got number 20. Bucko, another six pack machine here. Bring a standard double jump goho, my favorite. Drops the uh, drops the shattered entry here for the golems. And get them against this wall. Do his uh, nice funneling job here. Just ignoring these builder huts in the corners. Just knows he needs to get this funnel down and get those Valkyries into the base as soon as possible. A couple wall breakers out of that CC behind, in front of the Valks. Perfectly open it up. Valkyries are now in. First jump spell goes down. Can get everything going here. Now the uh, the CC with 15 minions in it. Uh, definitely want to make a few comments about that. It is a deadly, deadly clan castle comp. Um, I recommend it, guys. Obviously, your whole clan can't have it because they're just going to get poisoned to, to shame. But it, it can do some serious damage. And, uh, you know, Bucko handles it very nicely. Gets the poison down. Has the queen in there just to finish them off. So, but if those minions got away a little bit and started following the king and Valks around, it's GG. Like, there's no way you're going to get the tree star. Not to mention a CC full of minions like that coming against a queen walk. Poison does not save her she needs to have uh, be full health under a rage with the poison for her to be able to take care of all those minions anyhow hogs are now in right valk still moving through this base has a few more hogs he's just going to deploy in the back end here just get a little uh little back end value really just has to work through an arch tower and a couple wizard towers and there's just trash to go still has the sliver of health on his queen there gets the hogs into that last compartment and they're starting to do cleanup now so definitely tree star is imminent and it's in the bag for Bucko. Nice job, my friends. All right, one more up here. So Cass. Cass just got moved up from Swarm not too, too long ago. <clears throat> Showing us here why we moved him up because he is just doing a great, great job with his plans. Getting his nice funnel going, right? Gets these free buildings for the minions on the outside. Queen walk goes down, going to move her in, I uh, believe yank the CC out here, get good value, I believe he wants the queen to go down, but I'm pretty sure she goes back up, uh, but it doesn't matter, because as soon as this clan castle comes out, which is any second now, I think as soon as this whiz tower goes down, or maybe the mortar, uh, but see these Teslas pop here, so that kind of ends up giving her really good value, has to uh, hit the ability here, but may as well, because there's three Teslas she's getting out of the deal, so down go all those Teslas, got insanely good value at the 3 o'clock section here out of the screen walk, They're about to pull the CC out, I swear to God he is, any second, baby drag goes down, a couple giants, maybe he didn't pull the CC out, very interesting, Obviously, he did not. So in come the Valkyries and the clan castle is going to come out. Poison goes down, right? There's nothing to kill this baby dragon except this baby dragon. So uh, I believe it is about to lock onto that baby dragon. Yep. So it locks onto the baby dragon under poison. Going to just finish it off just in time. Uh, nice part was the heal spell was down. So it healed his baby dragon right up. Ended up finishing off the uh, baby dragon the CC. So perfect job there. It's 10 hogs. Still the ability on the king to go. Everything's now meeting up with his queen that has lost all our healers. But it doesn't matter. She's getting hit by a cannon that is about to go down to these hogs that he's just deployed from 12 o'clock. Nice little giant tank there too. Very quick, quick uh, cleanup wizards as well. Sitting behind that giant. Really good job with that. Basically only has the 10 o'clock down through the uh, 8 o'clock sections to worry about. <clears throat> Still has uh, hogs in there. A couple more hogs in the bag. I believe he's going to drop right now on the cannon there. There they go. It's got to work through that uh, archer tower. It's worked through that expo. Valkyries finally burst through that wall. He's got that queen. Is about to step up. Start working on that town hall. All these cleanup wizards on the outside. Just not enough left of this base to uh, to deny the rest of this attack. He is out of hogs basically now. Um, maybe has the one survive to the end, but that's it. 
Nope, because there goes that GP. So there go the Hogs, but really there's a Wizard Tower and a few trash buildings. You got four Wizards still as this Queen up there. King and some Valkyries are about to burst through into that compartment. Definitely Tree Start in the bag for Sir Cast. Nice job, buddy. Very sexy. <clears throat> okay. Next on the block, I had number 15. This is a little bit of a Queen, queen Walk Go Hope. No Valkyries, I believe, in this stack. Yep, no Valks. So brings four healers, um, 20 hogs. I believe he even brings bowlers. Yeah, this is the little bowler attack here. Now, <laughs> you're going to see... I like the idea of the bowlers. However, they, they don't last very long. The, they end up going in. Um, something that you got to watch out. If you're going to be using bowlers, guys, a double giant bomb kills them like hogs. Um so something to think about, you cannot have your bowlers path over a double giant bomb, otherwise they will die, and you're going to see this happen exactly. Hi, nice, sweetheart. Eating your donuts? Mmm. Anywho, so goes ahead, sends a couple hogs in here, gets the lure out, out comes the uh, clan castle, going to yank that over to the queen. <clears throat> poison spell goes down, double poison even, just taking care of those Valkyries, ends up hitting the ability, he doesn't want to get targeted. Really, uh, by two too much there. Uh, everything's good. So here comes this golem. You're going to see the funnels created and the bowlers are going to get dropped and start moving in and do some good damage at first, but they walk into a DGB and he loses, I think, all but one. <clears throat> so wall gets opened up. In comes the golem. In comes the bowlers out of the CC with the king there. So you're like, yeah, in come the bowlers. They're going to do big damage. They're under, that, under those healers now. They're probably going to get some healing uh, from them. Nice job. And DGB. Oh, Oh, where'd my bowlers go? I only have one left. Oh, well, <laughs> is what it is. Um, and the fact that he still gets a three-star in the bag, basically, with um, without uh, CC troops here, because he basically used them and lost them right away, uh, is pretty impressive in itself. So here comes some hogs, right? Just wants to get uh, some work done on this uh, little Tesla farm here that the... Um, King cannot get to. Even got the bo one bowler remaining in there doing a little bit of damage, which is nice. Starts feeding the hogs in now from 6 o'clock. So he's got to work up towards the 9 o'clock section here. Just getting everything going. King is now busted in this compartment, which is great. <clears throat> Still has well, one bowler in there, right? Heal spell goes down. It's going to take care of those hoggies. Just let them work through this. Uh, 9 o'clock apartment drops a couple on this back end on these point defense over here. Really good value. Everything's now going to meet up in a little pincer style. Getting good, good value. Down all the defenses go. A little bit of a scare on the bomb, but has a sliver of his health to go on these hogs. Just beautiful. <clears throat> Tree in the bag for my buddy Val. Nice job, man. Alrighty. A little go Valo to show you here. MBD going in. Hi, sweetie. Let me finish my video. <clears throat> Alrighty. <laughs> I love when uh, she's content playing by herself with something and is completely ignoring me, and then I come to do a video. <laughs> and lo and behold, magically, all of a sudden, she takes interest in what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, well. Dad life. Hashtag. <laughs> or hashtag dad life. Whatever. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> Cold blooded golems in, right? Gonna send in a bunch of Valkyries in here. The idea is he's gotta get as many air defense as possible. He has uh, 12 balloons he's gonna use here very, very wisely. Jump spell is gonna go down, just unlocking the section of base. Gotta take care of the CC troops, which are under poison, so no big deal there. Triggers the double giant bomb with the Valks, but they're under a heal, so they get healed right back up. Working their way through, take out the sweeper, take out that one more air defense. So he's only got two air defense to go. Here comes a CC full of miners on the outside. I thought that was a really good placement because he's just going to let them work into all these Teslas and help the queen out here. They're going to work through here and take out that one air defense there. And then there's only one more air defense to go, which the king is about to lock onto. Hits the ability, down goes that air defense. So we got 12 balloons, 10 balloons now. He's already deployed a couple over at the 9 o'clock section. Miners are working in through here. He's going to finish off this last air defense. And he's got a little troll test in the corner, but it's no big deal. Balloons are now moving in in all sections of the base. Defensive Queen is down. Still has Valkyries left alive. Definitely, definitely just going to just trash the rest of this base with no air defense to go. Balloons just got to target these defenses. Down they go. Get work their the way over. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Anyhow. 
Blue Wings get over that Tesla. A little bit of cleanup work to be done, but tree stars in the bag for MBD. Nice job. I love these uh, new age Go Valos. Sexy. All right, one more, and I am going to call it quits. We actually got a, quite a few three stars uh, using this avalanche attack. So Derp comes in here. Uh, Derp has just been on fire lately, actually, putting up three stars like nothing. So two golems are going to go in here right on this mortar. Just got to create a bit of a funnel. Wants to base the, the idea here, guys, is the way this base is set up, it's it's sort of like a ring base in itself because if you, you place jumps in the correct spots, these little runways kind of run everything exactly the directions he wants it to. So that's why he chooses, chose the uh, avalanche here. Third golem goes down. Got these wizards in, kind of doing work all over the base. In goes that kinger. <clears throat> Just going to work his way through. Take out that defensive queen. Poison spell goes down for the CC troops. His queen gets in there. Going to start working on that stuff. Bunch of goblins come out. They're going to get ripped up oh, by that poison in seconds. Just got to get that baby drag dead. Down it goes. So here comes this jump spell. Like I said, these alleyways just force everything. So he's going to drop jump here and then a jump here. And now the, the golems are just going to keep following the defenses around the ring. Clockwise rotation. Starts dropping more wizards. Drops another golem there. <laughs> I think this next jump's going to go right here. Jump, 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 jump. There it goes. Going to let this golem right in. Let these wizards right in. Just continue to do work. Moving around the ring. I think this little time too is very, very slow style attack, very patient attack. I do not have the patience. Can you quit kicking that ball at my computer, please? <laughs> Uh, so there goes that third jump spell, and the last golem is now deployed right into that Tesla farm. Got the wizards in there, backing everything up. Get some early minions on these outside buildings. Just going to continue moving everything around the ring. There's not a lot left to go. It's two air defense, two cannons, two archer towers once this expo goes down. Still has his queen alive, which is a big piece of this raid because quite often when on these avalanche attacks, your queen dies early because your golems follow the defenses however your queen does not so it's a lot of times you can't judge exactly where if your queen you can't judge your queen is going to follow your golems around the ring completely so um she dies quite often but she is alive and well doing work still is that golem in there has five more wizards and three more minions just going to finish off these trash buildings once the golem gets in range queen's going to do work on these defenses still has the ability and there it goes going to pop through the rest of this stuff wizards are down Minions are down, just cleaning this up, and it's definitely a treat in the bag. Beautiful. Nice job, Derp. Just been a monster lately, my friend. Good job. Mm. So, WHF2, we got our revenge. Um, I know uh, I know you guys probably uh, weren't super, super happy with your overall performance, but again, it is what it is, and uh, was a really fun war nonetheless. Uh, thank you for matching up with us. Uh, much appreciated. I'm sure we're going to have to go for our uh, best three out of five here fairly soon. Um, and, uh, you know, Invicta, fantastic job. Really nice to see uh, the camaraderie. Really nice to see the planning. Uh, everyone kind of came together on this one, base building wise and attacking wise, and just put forth a really good overall effort. I would have liked to have seen that one cleaned up. But it doesn't always happen that way. Anyhow, I'm going to call us an afternoon because clearly I got my hands full. Someone wants to play ball now. So I'm going to go do that. But that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help me bag that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.